Summer protests in Cincinnati led activists to call for a refocus on the citizen complaint authority. Advocates say CCA has been underfunded and understaffed for years. Things are changing, starting with new leadership. Mr. Gabe Davis will now be the executive director of our Citizens Complaint Authority. Davis is a Cincinnati native. He was in high school when Timothy Thomas was shot and killed by police in Over the Rhine. We most recently caught up with Davis during his run for Hamilton County Prosecutor. His experience is why he feels like he is the right leader for CCA. You know, I feel strongly and have felt strongly for quite some time that we need a new generation of leadership in order to transform and to fix a broken justice system. So as a prosecutor myself for seven years up until recently here, and uh, I uh, handled cases in some of the toughest courtrooms in the country. So I was a prosecutor at the Manhattan DA's office after graduating from Harvard Law School. After the Manhattan DA's office, I went on to join the Department of Justice under President Obama. And I worked in the Civil Rights Division. The Citizen Complaint Authority was established in 2003 as part of the collaborative agreement. It investigates allegations of police misconduct, including but not limited to shots fired, deaths in custody, excessive force, improper pointing of firearms, and improper search and seizures. The CCA has been operating without an executive director since at least this past February. The focus is now on making life better. I had a real heart for this community. I grew up here in Cincinnati. And I'm just looking forward to, to taking the reins and ensuring that we have someone who can thoroughly, uh, thoroughly investigate the allegations and make sure that we are engaged in the community uh, in, in solving some problems here and getting to the heart of some of the root causes uh, and, and building some, some of the trust that has been, been lacking. Uh. Davis will start at the beginning of next month. Alexis Rogers, WLWT News 5.